Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation. So we have three times x to the power ln sine x plus sine x to the power ln x equals four. So this looks like a very non-standard equation, even though it is, it is exponential. The bases are different, trigonometric, logarithmic, and all kinds of things. So this problem actually was posed on Twitter by Professor Nandor, which we've done a problem, another problem before. Uh, I'm going to share the links with you so you can go ahead and check out his Twitter page, uh, which is full of great problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can solve this problem. So we have three times x to the power ln sine x plus sine x to the power ln x equals 4. Great, so to make it a little easier, I'm going to use substitution. Let's go ahead and replace sine x with y. And then this gives us the following, and this also becomes a y. 3 times x to the power ln y plus y to the power ln x equals 4. If you know what this means, don't say it yet. And this problem still looks pretty non-standard, but we can fix it with a little operation. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a little bit more substitution because I need to show you something, but before I do show you, I don't want to tell you what it is, okay? So bear with me if you don't know what this means. So x to the power ln y, I'm going to go ahead and set it equal to a, and I'm going to set ln y equal to t. So a lot of substitution, just bear with me, this is going to turn into something nice. So now, uh, since ln y is named t, we can go ahead and write this as x to the power t equals a as well. And since ln y is called t from here, because the base is e here, we can say y is equal to e to the power t. So you can make all these conversions, hopefully you do know how logarithms work, but check out the definition of logs and then you'll get a better idea. So we, we have these equations which are somewhat, you know, pairwise equivalent. And I'm going to go ahead and do the following. We have x to the power ln y and we have y to the power ln x in our expression. So they're kind of, kind of symmetrical, aren't they? Sort of, like they switch roles. So let's go ahead and take a look at y to the power ln x using these four equations. Okay, I'm going to do the following. First of all, since y is equal to e to the power t, I'm going to replace y with e to the power t. And then I'm going to multiply the exponents. And then this t can become a power, so I can write it as e to the power ln x to the power t, which is basically x to the t, right? Okay, and then that becomes a. Make sense? Because e to the power ln something is that thing. So we can basically set it equal to x to the t, which is equal to a. Or if you still want to do it a little differently, you can do the following. Replace x to the t with a, you get e to the power ln a, which is a. Same thing. But what we got is significant because we just said, we assumed that x to the power ln y is equal to a. Now we got y to the power ln x equals the same thing. Now what is that supposed to mean? It means these two things are equal. So that was my conclusion, which I didn't want to tell you. So to keep a long story short, x to the power ln y and y to the power ln x are the same thing. Make sense? I hope it does. So obviously there's an easier way, which I didn't take, uh, but you could also just ln both sides and you're going to see that they are actually equal. A lot easier, but I always take the harder route. So we have 3x to the power ln y plus y to the power ln x equals 4. Now I can go ahead and replace y to the power ln x with x to the power ln y. So it's going to give me 3x to the power ln y plus x to the power ln y because these are equivalent equals 4. And then this gives me 4 times x to the power ln y equals 4. And finally, x to the power ln y equals 4. But what is y? right? I hope you know why. Uh, y is equal to sine x. Great. So let's go ahead and back substitute x to the power 
ln sine x. I'm sorry, did I write four? That should be a one. Okay. So let's go in and fix it real quick. Okay. So this is good because we got something equals one, which is important for exponential equations. Sometimes you'll get a problem like x to the power x minus three equals x. You always want to get set it equal to one by division and of course you have to consider x does not equal zero so on and so forth or what happens if x is zero as, as a separate case makes sense okay but in this case it's already one so we're good now i'm going to consider three cases first case is x equals one in this case the exponent does not matter so x equals one is good and then the second case is x equals negative one but ln sine x must be an even integer but obviously if x is negative 1 sine of negative 1 this is not going to be an integer right you probably know that so negative 1 is not going to work and the third case scenario is where the exponent is 0 because a to the power 0 is 1 if a does not equal 0 and some people say 0 to the power 0 equals 1 but I don't believe that anyways that's a different story the exponent is 0 and the base does not equal 0 in this case we get sine x equals 1 from definition of logs because log 1 is 0 so sine x equals 1 and if you think about the unit circle there's only one special angle for which sine is 1 and that is going to be pi over 2 so from here we get x equals pi over 2 but the original problem even though I haven't said it at the very beginning if you check it out on Twitter the original problem says hey x values we want them to be uh, between 0 and 10 inclusive so we're going to have to go a little higher because pi over 2 is less than 10, but there's another value. And how do you find that? You just add multiples of 2 pi. So the general solution to this equation, I've got to tell you, that x equals pi over 2 plus 2 pi multiplied by n, where n is an integer. So if n is 0, you get pi over 2. If n is equal to 1, then you get x equals 5 pi over 2. If you think about it, 5 pi over 2 is still less than 10, but if you set n equals 2, then you get a high value. Let's go ahead and do it. n equals 2 gives us pi over 2 plus 4 pi, which is 9 pi over 2. And you probably know that 9, oops, I wrote a 4 there. 9 pi over 2, if you think about it, 9 over 2 is greater than 4, so this is greater than 4 pi, and obviously pi is greater than 3, so 4 pi is greater than 12, and 12 is greater than 10. So anyways, this is greater than 10, so we have to stop here. So conclusion, our solutions are 1 pi over 2 and 5 pi over 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. And thank you, Dr. Nandor, for beautiful problems. Keep up the good work. And bye-bye.